Hey, I'm Kennedy, it's On The Prowl, and we're here with... Zakia Baruti. I am the current Miss Blue and White since 2016. So Zakia, um, what's your experience been like being Miss Blue and White? Um, it's been a great experience. It's really helped me grow as a person and as a young woman. Yeah. What would be your advice to the next Miss Blue and White? My advice to the next Miss Blue and White is just be confident, have fun, you know, um, you're going to make a lot of friends, and this will be a great experience to grow. Well, thank you. What was your experience like being Miss Phi Beta Sigma? It was surreal, kind of. It was more like no other. I never thought I would win, and when I won, it was like I gained friends, I gained family, I gained tutors, I gained teachers. It was just a lot of gain and a lot of growth. What advice would you give to the next Miss Phi Beta Sigma? First, I would say remain humble. Be willing to grow and take advice, but also stay who you are. Don't let a title completely change you. Is there anything that you'd like to say to the brothers of Phi Beta Sigma? Uh, GBT, I love you guys. Thank you guys for this experience, and keep doing what you're doing. So, Ken, what can we expect from tonight's show? Tonight we should expect a lot of class and pizzazz and turned up, being turned, and having fun. That's what I expect tonight. Okay. So, as a member of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity... As a member of Phi Beta Sigma, um, what do you expect from your future queens? From my future queen, I expect perseverance and just to get through what she needs to get through and whatever we ask her to do, just diligently do it and always on time. That's all we expect from her. Yeah, Miss Phi Beta Sigma Queen is... Zena! What's up, y'all? We on the prowl. I'm here with Zena. She just won the um, pageant here today. How you feel, Zena? I feel amazing. It was a great experience. However, I do still want to congratulate all the other girls because it was a great time spending time with them. For about a month, practicing every night. And I just want to thank everyone for all the support coming out to see me tonight. And I just want to say thank the Lord, too. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you, Zena. Thank you. Congratulations. Pam, how you doing? Man, I haven't been better. I'm like, I'm so happy. Because this is so bittersweet, right? Because I'm glad that it's over because it was a lot of work. But I enjoyed every minute of it. Working with these lovely ladies, winning Miss Beta Theta. It's just, it's such an honor, you know? I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed with joy right now, honestly. Like, this is, this is good. What's up, y'all? It's Ridge back here on, on the prowl at the pageant here today and I'm here with Miss Blue and White 2018 2019 yes yes how, how does it feel I am so grateful I am so thankful these guys the Sigmas are like brothers to me ever since the beginning of the pageant they have showed that they cared about the ladies not only just myself and I'm very thankful for the opportunity for the opportunity <laughs> all right thank you congratulations thank you, thank you. y'all we're on the prowl with Shawnee Hosey a wonderful t contestant here tonight at the pageant. Um, so tell me, what was your greatest experience from tonight? From tonight, um, the greatest experience was just basically doing everything that um, Terrell and the rest of the brothers of the Phi Beta Sigma fraternity put together. Um, I love the backstage fun part and basically just really, I can't just say tonight, but the whole pageant experience, creating a bond with the fraternity was like one of the best experiences ever since I've um, been on this campus. Okay, great answer. I appreciate you. And for all the brothers of all the Sigmas, congratulations. Tonight was a very successful night. We out. And I'm here with... Kiana Banks. A lovely contestant here at, tonight at the pageant. Um, how did it go? How, how did everything go? I think, honestly, it was just a good experience to get bonding time and really just find ourselves and find our own confidence, most definitely. All right. What, how was the practices? Were the practices rough? Ooh, the practices were hard, but it was, they were only hard on us because they knew what we could achieve. So it was okay. good. Okay. 
all in all, was it a good experience? Most definitely. I would most definitely do this again. All right. Thank you. Thank you. How y'all doing? We back on the prowl with... Bobby Denise Fields. Lovely contestant here tonight at the pageant. She did a great job. How does it feel? It feels amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. How did everything go for y'all? This was a wonderful pageant this year. We had a great time. We had 13 contest lovely contestants out here. They did it, uh, were very wonderful at everything that they did. We thank y'all for coming out. Again, UAPB family, Sigmas, we love you. All right, thank you, thank you. What, what do the Sigmas have coming up next? Next up, we have a lot of community service coming up. Don't, uh, don't miss out on that. We always serve in the community. We also do host some other events, Adopt the Dorms events that come once a month to the Plex. So be aware of that. All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Hey, man. guys, it's in Brazil. I'm back here with two wonderful ladies. Here we go. What's your name? India Porter. All right. Brianna James. All right, and what's your guys' majors? Psychology. Okay. Biology pre -made. Oh, okay, okay. We got the smart people, y'all. Big money, big bang. What's up? All right, y'all, so, like, what's the move for spring break? Um, me and my line sister are going to Dallas. Ooh, Dallas. Yeah, I'm, I'm going home, Little Rock. Okay, you from Little Rock? Little Rock. Hey, what's up? 501, where you at? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so if it was up to y'all, how long would spring break be? Um, if it was up to me, spring break would at least be two weeks. Okay. And it'll be in April, because I feel like, why are we having spring break in March? But hey, that's how right. <laughs> I would probably still say a week. I mean, mm -hmm. if it's more than that, you got to think our work being pushed back. And then we're going to have a shorter, either we're going to be in school longer or we're going to have shorter time to get our work done. True, true, true. Yeah, I like how you thinking, baby girl. Okay, so like, how's midterm going so far? Um, I only have one midterm test, so everything is going Ooh. good. But I have to do my senior project, so I'm graduating in May. So that's Okay, okay. We got a senior, y'all. What's up? <laughs> That's All right, how you doing? Um, mine they were okay. Okay. You know, you know. kind of struggled a little bit, but I know I got you. I think they struggled. Okay. I think the lowest I probably got is like a C. So. Okay. Yeah, that's still good, girl. You you still passing? What's up? We getting out the doubt. Right. Say no right. more. Right, 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 right. All right. So yeah, anything else? You know, you wanna say what's going on on the yard, man? Like anything plans? Any big plans? Um, well, I know Union Pregnant Board has our late night coming up. It's going to be Pajama Jam, and it's going to be on March 30th from 7 to whenever we decide to sh shut it down. So okay, y'all. PJ PJs. Okay, that's going to be fun. little event on the campus. I'm with her. So. Okay, I got you. Oh, y'all together. Okay, say no more. Just come turn up with us, you know. Okay, okay. We're going to have chicken and waffles. Ooh, chicken and waffles, y'all. Like, who don't love chicken? Like, what's up? I mean, the waffles, um, like, you know, it's like exactly. dinner, lunch, and breakfast. What's this? At the same time. <laughs> in my pajamas? Yes. <laughs> so, you know, kicking if we have All right, all right. Well, thank you guys for being on the show. And, like, yeah, just come kick it with us in the student union, y'all. Like, what's the most exciting thing about spring break to you? Like, what's the mood, man? What's up? Well, I got to say, the most exciting thing for me right now is going home. Because, you know, I miss Atlanta. The, I've only been home once, and that was for spring for um winter break because I couldn't go home for Thanksgiving break. So that was kind of heartbreaking. I got you, man. Dang, that sucks. Stuck on campus. You ain't get no dressing, no, no ham, no turkey, no nothing. Actually, no. My grandparents live down here. Oh, okay, okay. But, you know, sometimes I get tired of going over there. I and I want to go home. Like, home, <laughs> home. home. You know me and stay my in your own, own bed. Room, my yeah, own bed, yeah. my own bathroom, my own oh, everything. Right, I miss it right. all. All right, man. And thank you for being a part of the girl on the prowl, man. Like, it's awesome to see new people, meet new people, y'all. Networking and be friendly, man. All right. All right, y'all. So we got our next guest on the show. What's your name? My name is Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Okay, okay. And what's your major? Computer science. Got you. Where you from? Palm Bluff, Arkansas. Born oh, Maine. we got another major, like another native to the university. All right, man. So how's midterms going? Midterm? They're going pretty good. Today is my first midterm, and I got one today at 3 o'clock. Ooh, okay. At 3 o'clock. I got you. I got you. So um, if it was up to you, how long would spring break be? Give us like a month, cause a week is not enough time. We go by so fast, like like that, and I'm like, give me a month, I can relax, breathe, sleep. <laughs> I got you, man. We getting a lot of those. Like we should really push for spring break to be a month, y'all. So like on spring break, what's your big plans? What's the move? Well, basically, I was born and raised in public Arkansas, so if anything, gonna be working around the house, mm -hmm. make sure I take care for graduation and everything else. But other than that, I would love to travel to Florida. 
I spent time with my brothers and everything uh, else. Florida down there in the beaches and the palm trees, y'all. Okay, mm. okay, okay. So anything else you want to say? What's going on on the yard, man? Anything on the yard? I'm going to say this one thing only. You guys, focus to pass your midterm. Stay prayed up. Do what you got to do. Do the right, right thing because life's too short. You only live once. And mm. we got to stick together and love each other instead of having all the hatred and confusion in this world. All right, man, and you heard it first from here on The Proud. All right, y'all, so we're here with our next guest, couple of guests on the show. So what's your name? Dara Custis. All right, who are you? Brianna Hammond. All right, man, all right, and uh, what's y'all classifications? Freshmen. Okay, we got two freshmen. What's up, y'all? All right, so, like, these majors, what y'all majoring in? Biology. Okay. Nursing. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine, man. So, like, if it was up to you, how long would spring break be? A week. A week? A week is enough. You think? <laughs> Two weeks? Two. Okay, exactly. Like, we've been trying to, like, get a whole month. Like, we need all of March. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. So, Come what's on, the move on spring day? break? What's the move? Oh, I'm going to Texas with somebody. Oh, okay, okay. So, what y'all doing in Texas? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Sorry, we can't disclose this kind of information. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. So yeah, anything else going on in the yard? Like, what's up? What y'all been doing? What's up? It's midterm week, so um, I've been stressing. You know? <laughs> I got you stressing, stressing. Relieving my stress. Stressing, relieving stress. You know. Oh, okay. I, I, I relieving this stress though. <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> Uh, uh, y'all is funny, man. <laughs> hey, man, so we here with two new de uh, guests today. Uh, what's your name? My name is Thomas. I got you, I got you. So my guy, uh, what's your name? Jamal. Jamal? They call okay. me Okay, I got you, I got you. So what's y'all classifications? My classification is a senior. Okay. I'm a sophomore. I got you, I got you. So what majors are you guys into? Music education. Okay. Music ed. Okay, yeah, we got music in the building, y'all. Y'all heard that? Okay, so like, uh, if spring break, if it was up to you, how long would spring break be? Two weeks. Two weeks. Hey, I'll oh. say the same thing about two weeks. Two yeah, weeks. I got you. I got you. So, like, what's the move on spring break? Like, what y'all up to? Mm, kicking with family. Okay. Kicking with family, chill, mm -hmm. chill and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't doing nothing. Going to the movies. I got you, man. I got you. I'm like, that's pretty much what everybody doing. Like, trying to lay back, run up a check, and all that other good stuff, man. All right, man, so anything else on the uh, yard y'all got to talk about? Like, what's up? What y'all been up to? I'm just blessed. That's blessed. all I got to say. All right, man. Yeah, we, we really ain't nothing. Just, just blessed being here. We got this nice environment. You know what right, I'm saying? I'm right. trying to heal. I'm going, oh, um, I am actually doing something uh, over okay. break. Um, I'm, I'm going to my high schools in uh in Memphis and help recruit. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. So you already know I'm very actively, actively involved yeah. in the Memphis community. Yeah, okay, I got Jackson, you. Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Jacksonville, okay, this interesting. I told y'all, black boys, we out here working, y'all. We ain't never out here doing nothing. Like, what's up? So, like, yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Like, that is great. So, like, how midterms going so far? It, it, it's going. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little. It's going. I got you. I got you. Trying. All right, but it's man. But it, it, it all for that. This is just the midpoint. We still got some. Uh, if we slacking off with somebody, we still got time to come back up. You know what I mean? That don't mean just, uh, you know what I'm saying, get lax. Yeah, but yeah, you know right. what I'm saying, lax. But you still got to go hard in the paint. I mean, right, that's the, right, that, right. Do better. That, that, that's, that's, that was my mantra for uh, 2018. Do better. Okay. All right, man. <laughs> yeah, so like, stay tuned for more on the Prowl. Hey, everyone. My name is Tristan, and we are on the Prowl. So right now, we are in the BCM, and I am here with Jordan Franklin. So I'm here with Jordan, and right now, what are your plans for spring break? Um, my plans for spring break, um, I'm going to be staying here at the BCM and working. Okay. So if spring break could last for however long you want it to be, how long would you want it to last? Uh, i say at least two weeks. Why? Uh, I think, like, during th this part of the semester, uh, especially, uh, we're getting closer to the end of the school year, and I think, especially after midterms, just those two weeks will be a good just rest time to finish the semester out strong. Okay. Now, Jordan, what would be on your spring break bucket list? Like, if you could do anything or go anywhere you wanted to go, where would you want to go? I would really want to go somewhere, somewhere else outside the country, like maybe South America or, like, Jerusalem or somewhere, maybe. Okay. Why? 
Oh uh, well, Jerusalem. There's a lot of like, especially like biblical, biblical history and stuff, like historical significance and stuff like that, and uh, like just being in my phone talking. <laughs> just being in places like that, I think would make the Bible, like things in the Bible, a lot more real to me if I was like able to just go and see those things in person. Mm -hmm. Now, how is midterms going for you? I know midterms have been kind of hectic this week. So how are your strategies going? How are you focusing in class? And how is that going for you? Well, really, it's more so just uh, like being a senior, uh, our professors kind of don't really do like your regular running the meal midterms. They might have us do like a paper or something like that. But I do have a midterm quiz today. Uh, it's just been studying, being, trying to be attentive in class, and not slacking off pretty much is just kind of how I try to go about things. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jordan, for this interview. It was nice talking to you. Thank you. And so what are your plans for spring break? My plans for spring break is to basically just sit at home, chill, and most likely study because I got to take an online assignment and the online test, so I'm probably going to be doing those over spring break, but other than that, I'm going to be having fun. Okay. If you can go anywhere in the world for any amount of time, where would you go? Anywhere in the world for Iceland. Okay. Definitely Iceland. It's actually, it's kind of far away, not really, but looking at all those pictures, you see, like, all the northern lights, and then the nature is just beautiful and I would love to stay in Iceland for forever okay now if spring break could be any shorter or longer how long would you make it be I would definitely make it longer I would make it two weeks instead of one because that's not really a spring break but I mean I'll give that to them the whole one week that's you know I'll take whatever I can get so okay so how's midterms going for you I actually only have one midterm, only one physical midterm that I had to take as far as being in an actual class. All my other midterms are online, so I kind of got lucky this time. <laughs> okay. Now, what strategies did you have for midterms going into it? The strategies I had for midterms, basically looking over the notes. <laughs> I'm like, that's my way of studying is just looking over notes. But unless the class is hard, then I probably go farther as to make Quizlets and study off of Quizlet. But as far if I think the midterm isn't going to be that hard, I'm just going to look over the notes, breathe past it, and then take it. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Brianna. I enjoyed talking to you. Thank you. So what are your plans for spring break? <laughs> to go to Nesby. Okay. So what is Nesby? NSBE stands for National Society for Black Engineers. It's a conference that they have every year. So this year is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, so if spring break could last for however long you want it to, to be, how long would you want it to last? Exactly how long it lasts now, actually. You wouldn't want it to be any shorter or longer? No. Okay, why not? I just feel like it's at the right length. It's enough time to where you can kind of relax, and recharge a little bit, but at the same time, you don't want to miss too much class either. So. Okay. So if you could go anywhere in the world for any amount of time, where would you go? <sighs> That's a, uh, a tough one. Um, I would probably say let's go with uh, San Francisco. Okay. Why is that? Because for some reason, that's always been a city I've liked, I've always wanted to visit. So, um, and plus I just wanted to see California in general. I've heard it's such a beautiful state and all that sort of thing. And so, yeah, I just wanted to, wanted to see what it's like. And plus I wanted to see like the Golden Gate, Golden, uh, Gate Bridge and so on. Okay, so how is midterms going for you? Um, they're going pretty well. Um, I just took two today and I think I did pretty well on them. The other two are programming uh, <clears throat> midterms, but I think they'll go by fine as well. Now, what strategies are you doing to like handle midterms? Like, How are you a doing, able to handle those? Uh, treat them like any other test. Uh, make sure you study for them. Uh, don't stress yourself out too much, though, because what that will do is it'll cause you to blank out and you'll end up doing a lot worse as a result. So. Okay, well, thank you so much, Tyrone. I enjoyed this interview with you, and this is On the Prowl, you guys. Hi, this is me, Ambrosio Rose. We're here again, and we're on the Prowl. We're here in Children's Hall, doing the phone-a-thon, trying to get some money for the school. What's up? And we're here with... 
Angelisa Henry. All right, and she's the head of the Phonathon. So what exactly is the Phonathon? So the Phonathon is an opportunity where we bring in students that are currently on campus, and what they do is they call alumni and friends of the university and ask for donations um, that come back to the university in the form of scholarships. Okay, wow, that's amazing, man. So, like, what are y'all in goal? Like, what's going on? So our end goal is to raise $150,000 um, mm-hmm. over the course of the next few weeks. Um, right now we're at about, mm, I would say, almost $20,000, and we've been going hard for about a little bit over a week, so we're well on our way to our goals. Wow. I'm very proud of all of the students that are involved in the Phonathon. Yes, it is amazing, man. And yeah, so any other additional information you have about the Phonathon? Definitely. So if you are a um, alumni or a friend or a student or anybody that wants to give back to the university, please feel free to give us a call here at the Office, office of Development. Um, our phone number is 575-8701. That's 575-8701. And you can also donate online. So there are many ways to give back to the university, even if it's just $5. Every little bit helps. All right, man. And like now we're going to get into it and like ask some of the people who's making the phone calls if they trying to come through. Like, what's up? <laughs> All right. All right, you guys, so we're here with one of the callers. So what's your name, ma'am? Kiefer Jackson. All right, man. So uh, what's your classification? I'm a freshman. Oh, cool. Freshman, man. We out here putting in work. I'm telling you. All right. So, like, how's your how's your experience with the Phonathon, man? Well, my experience with the Phonathon is absolutely great. All right, man. So, like, you've been calling alumni. Like, how's that been? It's been fun. And sometimes it's just sad, but it's fun. <laughs> Please elaborate. Like, what you mean? Like, what's going on? Okay, some people are just rude, you know? Mm-hmm. And some people are just very nice. And it's really nice to, like, interact with other people. Okay, that's great. That's great, man. And, like, yeah, so, like, you been putting in work? Oh, yes, yeah. I been putting in work. <laughs> been on that board every day. Okay, okay, wow. Like, you want to take us over here and, like, explain the board? Like, what's going on on the board? Okay, come on, then. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, our goal today is three thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and this is like like the, pretty much the names of everybody you know that's at the table. Mm-hmm. And um, today, to she raised two hundred dollars, and I raised one hundred fifty dollars so far. So, like, we like to build it all up and see how much of the goal that we can raise. But normally, we over exceed our goal. Which wow. Is great. Okay. Great. And is this your first time doing a fun thing? Yes, it's my all first right. time. Wow, that's amazing, man. So, like, now we're going to see if we can get the top caller from last year to come and give us a great interview. Oh, the ad planner is basically just uh, a graph, a chart of where we start out asking for money, and if they say no because of financial difficulties or whatnot, we just go down the ladder and kind of step them down to see, you know, what we can get from them. Because, you know, we take anything we can get. Okay, I got you, man. I got you. All right, thank you so much. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, what I didn't tell you is that I am also one of the callers for the phone thing. And this right here is one of our little thank you cards. So, like, we get a little three little panels of pictures, and then, like, we just write our little thank you letters. And, like, it just makes it more personal to the people that we're sending our uh, little donations out to, little flyers. Uh, so, yeah, that's real great. How much money did y'all raise last year? Oh. I think it was like a hundred and nine thousand. Don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. Okay, but like that's like in the area like a little rough idea, like how much money they be getting up here, like y'all, like this is amazing. So yeah, like as a experienced caller caller, like can you give us some pointers? Like what's up? Uh well, as we always say, remember to smile on the phone. Mm-hmm. Um be very personable with the people, you know, get to know, try to get to know them within your five minutes or so. And just be straightforward, I guess, at the same time. Wow, man, this is pretty exciting just to be here and, like, feel like all the commotion, like, all the money that's coming into the school, like, this is amazing, man. It's quite a feeling. <laughs>